This is UX Shorts mini video mega knowledge. Today in UX Shorts, we will be talking about the user segmentation framework. The first step towards starting the user research process is defining the user segments, which you will be targeting. But let's first understand what is a user segment. A user segment is a group of users with shared characteristics that form a part of a product's existing customer base or could be a part of a potential customer base. Segmentation helps an organization or brand decide which set of users should they target within the whole universe of people available to them. The user segmentation framework is widely used to define existing and potential segments based on four main parameters demographics, geographic, psychographic, and behavioral. Let's look at each one of these in detail. Demographics. These are statistical profiles of the population of a place that forms the basis of segmentation and user profiling. Demographics include age, education level, socioeconomic profile, and gender. For example, a very simple form of segmentation is to divide your users as per age groups. Facebook started off by targeting college students between the age of 18 and 22. However, as it grew in popularity, other age groups such as 22 to 28, 28 to 35 and 35 to 50 years old also became target segments. Now let's move on to geography. User segments are also defined based on geographies as the users within different geographies display different characteristics. Geographical segmentation could be done on the basis of urban, semi-urban and rural or metros, tier 1, tier 2 classifications. Think of news apps which caters to an English speaking audience in metros but vernacular audiences in tier 2 and tier 3 cities. Now let's talk about psychographics. The personal attributes and characteristics of a user that make up his psychological framework and mental model are known as psychographics. Psychographic profiling plays an important role in the UX design process. Psychographics helps us define a segment based not only on statistical and factual data, but also on individual personality types of people. For example, a 25-year-old living in Mumbai and is a first-time job holder is carefree, financially unaware and has not yet started thinking about his future financial safety. This segment of financially unaware young millennials is a segment for a bank which wants to launch financial advisory services. Now let's talk about buying behavior. This represents the behavioral patterns that a user exhibits towards buying a particular product or service. Buying behavior could be of many types and generally depends on the type of product being bought. For example, some people do grocery shopping with a list and some without. Some do it on a monthly basis, while some may do it on an ad hoc need basis. Some may always buy the same brand, while some people regularly switch brands. Some people may prefer to get a subscription of monthly essentials, while some don't. At the end, the segmentation framework helps us define those meaningful groups of users that we want to target for our products and services. So this was all about user segmentation framework. We hope that you've liked this video. Do watch UX Shots, mini videos, mega knowledge.